This video will walk you through the steps of importing and adding custom weapons to the template. If you need help understanding the weapon system at any time during the tutorial, make sure to watch our video covering weapon stat basics. The links we've provided on our documentation page contain Blender and FBX files for a custom skeletal mesh weapon to use as an example for importing and setting up new weapons. Ultimately, you'll use your own custom weapon models, but can follow along with either in case your model isn't prepared yet. In the example Blender file, make sure the units are set to metric and add a scale of 0.01 to match the units of centimeters that Unreal Engine uses. Export the gun frame mesh and skeleton as an FBX together. The rest of the gun attachments will be exported as static mesh FBXs later for attachment creation. First, let's head over to the weapons folder under skeletal mesh and create a folder for your custom mesh. Import the FBX file and leave all the options default unless you're comfortable changing import settings that you require. Open the newly imported skeletal mesh and we will begin adding the necessary sockets. Each socket that will be added is used as an attachment point, so the exact name and transform of the socket is important. Right click on the root bone and begin adding the following mandatory sockets. Holder underscore idle is used for inverse kinematics, which attaches the supporting hand to the gun. Muzzle is used for the muzzle flash particles. Barrel end is used to determine the very end of the gun mesh, and true middle is used to center the gun inside the weapon loadout screen. After adding the mandatory sockets, you'll want to decide what other sockets you may need on your gun for custom attachments that you want to add or be able to customize in the game. For example, our Blender file has a static mesh for the handle, stock, and a magazine, so we'll make sockets for each of those. You can add preview meshes to the sockets to make sure you're placing them in the correct transform. Now let's create the weapon actor. Head over to the weapons folder under blueprints and right click the BP underscore weapon master class and create a child blueprint. Open it and set the skeletal mesh to your new mesh, then select class defaults. Drop down the changeable settings variable and start setting the values accordingly. Again, our weapon stat tutorial explains these variable values in detail, but here are a few other notable values to pay attention to. The Need IK Boolean will activate or deactivate inverse kinematics. Activating IK will snap the supporting hand of the arms to the IK socket we set up earlier on the gun. The Does Affect Breathing Boolean decides if this weapon will affect aim down sight sway and it's useful for guns that you want to be perceived as heavy like sniper rifles. Animation time should be set to the amount of time you want to recoil animation played for each shot. It also acts as a global cooldown after shooting, blocking other actions such as throwing a grenade for this set time. Weapon ID should match the row name that you assign in the weapon table later in this video. Bullet distance is the max distance that a hit will be registered. Attachments on start should be set to the row names of attachments that you want spawned with the weapon by default in-game and on the loadout screen. Attachment sockets are the available attachment types that should be supported for this weapon, based on socket names created earlier. For example, you may have created a socket specifically for large scopes, but you don't want this assault rifle to be equipped with large scopes, only small sights, so you would omit the scope socket from this list and only add the sight socket here. The actor class is just a reference to this blueprint, and the camera height location TPS value should be set to the desired camera height for this weapon if you're using third person. Note that there are tooltips on the variables if you hover with your mouse as well. Lastly, to expose your new weapon inside the loadout selector in-game, head over to the tables folder under blueprints. Open the weapon table and add a new row. Fill out the variables with your new weapon. It should now be visible inside the game and can be used in combat. The next step and next video will cover adding the attachments for this weapon. If you have any questions, make sure to post in our Discord.